First in the spotlight tonight is Will Howells, a digital manager from London, answering questions on Inspector Morse. Next, Alice Menel, a beachcomber from East Lothian, on the sportsman and writer C.B. Fry. Nigel Tomlinson from Peterborough answers questions on the Nazi Reinhard Heydrich. Mel Kinsey from Scarborough on the American boxer Jack Johnson. And Gareth Williams, a school teacher from Chipping Norton, on the Gospel According to Mark. Welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Tonight, five semi-finalists have all been here before, of course. They've experienced the delights of sitting in that black chair. And tonight, they have to do it once again. At stake, a place in the grand final. They'll get 90 seconds on their specialist subject and then two minutes on their general knowledge. So let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Will Howells. Your occupation? Digital manager. And your chosen subject? Inspector Morse. Inspector Morse in 90 seconds. What is the title of the first television episode of Inspector Morse that was not directly based on one of Colin Dexter's novels? Uh, last scene wearing. The Wilbercoat Tongue. Which film director wrote the screenplay for the episodes The Dead of Jericho, Deceived by Flight and Driven to Distraction? Anthony Mingala. Yep. The episode Absolute Conviction is set in a prison described by Morse as Butlins for the Borgias because of its relaxed regime. What's it called? Barnley. Yep. What fictional Oxford college features prominently in several episodes? In Death is Now My Neighbour, the unpleasant Sir Clixby Bream, played by Richard Bryars, is retiring as master. Lonsdale. Yep. What's the name of the locum pathologist played by Amanda Hillwood, whose relationship with Morse develops as the third season progresses? Grayling Russell. Yep. What's the name of the occult bookshop in Wickham whose mailing list Sergeant Lewis obtains? He hopes it'll lead into the person sheltering the escaped rapist John Barry. Satan Shop. Esoterica. Which actor plays the Chancellor of the University, Lord Hinksey, in the episode Twilight of the Gods? John Gilbert. Yes, in The Infernal Serpent, what publication has been described by the recently deceased Dr. Deer as the poser's address book? Who's who? Yep, in the silent work of Nicholas Quinn, the crossword setter Philip Ogilby, who uses the pseudonym Daedalus, tells Morse that he always makes one of the clues just a little tricky. What's the number of this clue? Three down. Five down. While in hospital, Morse directed the reinvestigation of the murder in 1859 of a young woman called Joanna Franks. How is the case usually known? The Oxford Canal murder. It is. In the final episode, The Remorseful Day, to whom does Morse speak his last words, thank Lewis for me? Chief Superintendent Strange. It is correct. No passes, Will. You have eight points. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Alice Mennell. Your occupation? Beachcomber. And your specialist subject? The life of C.B. Fry. The life of C.B. Fry in 90 seconds. Fry was best known as a sportsman, writer and diplomat. During his second year at Oxford University, he equalled the American Charles Rabers world record in what event? Long jump. Yep. With which legendary batsman did Fry open the batting when he played his first test against Australia in 1899? W.G. Grace. Yes. Which writer and caricaturist did Fry meet while he was studying at Oxford? Fry said that he immediately endowed my new world with a sense of literature and art of the science of life. Max Beerbohm. Yep. Fry played for Southampton in the 1902 FA Cup final held at Crystal Palace. They lost 2-1 in a replay against which club? Sheffield United. Yes, in the 20s, Fry worked in Geneva at the League of Nations. While he was there, he claimed that he was a serious candidate to become the king of which European country? Albania. Yep. Fry unsuccessfully stood for election to the House of Commons on three occasions in the early 20s. Which Conservative candidate defeated him on his final attempt in 1924? Askerith. No, born. Fry gave tips to the actor Oscar Homolka on how to portray the South African statesman Paul Kruger in which 36th film? A pass. On the 4th of June, 1898, he married Beatrice Holmes Summer, the long-term mistress of which wealthy banker? Charles Hall. Yep. From 1908, C.B. Fry and his wife Beatrice ran a naval school called Training Ship Mercury. Which Royal Navy ship was added to the school with the help of Winston Churchill, first Lord of the Admiralty? President. Yep. In his 1897 article, Cricket As I Have Met, Fry described a player as resembling something between a Pyrenean brigand and a smiling Neapolitan. Who? 
Palin Warner. Tom Richardson. Fry and his wife published a novel in 1907 called, and it's the question, A Mother's Son, which features a hero who rides the winner in the Grand National and plays for England against Australia in Test cricket. What's his name? Uh, Charles Southgate. No, Mark Lovell. You had one pass. The film portraying Paul Kruger was Roads of Africa. You've scored, Alice, seven points. And our next contender, please. And your name is... Nigel Tomlinson. Your occupation? Retired. Your specialist subject? The life of Reinhard Heydrich. The Nazi Heydrich in 90 seconds, starting now. Heydrich was described by Hitler as the man with the iron heart and helped to organise the murder of Hitler's political opponents in June and July 1934. What did this series of murders become known as? The Night of the Long Knives. Yes, Heydrich chaired a conference in January 1942 which discussed the final solution to the Jewish question. What was the name of the conference? The Wannsee Conference. Yeah, after Himmler was appointed the head of the German police in June 36, he made Heydrich the chief of a new SS agency that combined the Gestapo state secret police and the SIPO Criminal Police. What was it called? The SD. The SIP or the SIPO. What was the name of Heydrich's wife? She and her family were a crucial influence on his decision to join the Nazi party. Lena. Yep. In 1940, Heydrich gave his support to a proposal to set up a Jewish reservation on an island that was a French colonial possession. Which island? Madagascar. Yes. In June 34, Heydrich ordered the murder of the leader of Catholic Action, who'd spoken out against National Socialist repression. What was his name? Klausner. Yep. Whom did Heydrich replace as acting protector of Bohemia and Moravia in September 1941? Konstantin von Nura. Correct. There was a British operation to kill Heydrich that involved parachuting Czech agents into Czechoslovakia. Heydrich died from wounds he received in that attack. What was the operation's code name? Anthropoid. Yes. Hitler ordered a Czech village to be destroyed on the 9th of June 1942 as the first reprisal for Heydrich's death. Which village? Ladici. Yes. For many years, Heydrich was the subject of rumours that he'd had a Jewish ancestry. Who was the Nazi party's chief genealogist who claimed the rumours were false? Ernst Hoffmann. No, Gurkha. But no passes, Nigel. You have eight points. And our next contender, please. And your name is... Mel Kinsey. Your occupation? Retired. And your chosen subject? Uh, the life and career of Jack Johnson. The boxer Jack Johnson in 90 seconds. Here we go. In 1908, Johnson was the first black boxer to become heavyweight champion of the world. By what nickname related to his place of birth was he known? The Galveston Giant. Yep. Which former undefeated world heavyweight champion came out of retirement in 1910 to fight Johnson but was soundly beaten? Jeffries. Yep. What was the name of the veteran boxer who was imprisoned, together with Johnson, for taking part in an illegal prize fight in February 1901? Chorinsky. Yeah, Chorinsky, yeah. In late 1912, Johnson was charged with violating what act banning interstate transport of any female for immoral purposes. The Man Act. Yep. Which long-time rival heavyweight did Johnson fight in an exhibition match in 1945 to raise money for the American war effort? Joe Jeanette. Yep. Who was the amateur boxer Johnson worked for as a carriage painter? He later claimed that it was his encouragement that led him to become a boxer. Ed Harrison? No, Walter Lewis. In which federal penitentiary in Texas did Johnson eventually serve his Man Act sentence in 1920? Uh, Leaven, uh, Leavenworth. Yep. Yeah. Johnson's reign as world champion ended when he was knocked out in the 26th round by the great white hope Jess Willard at a sporting venue near Havana in April 1915. What was the venue called? Oriental Race Track. Yes. In which city did Johnson beat John Haynes, known as Klondike, at the third attempt in December 1900? Chicago. No, Memphis. Which British aristocrat wrote an open letter defending the boxer's right to perform, fight and marry as he wished when Johnson visited England in 1913? Pass. Which cabaret venue, partly owned by Johnson, was taken over and opened as the original site of New York's Cotton Club in 1923? Pass. In which hospital in Raleigh, North Carolina, did Johnson die in June 1946 following an accident when he lost control of his Lincoln Zephyr car? Franklin to Memorial. No, it was St Agnes Hospital. You had two passes. That um, cabaret venue that Johnson partly owned was the Café de Lux. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, the British aristocrat, you'll be cross with yourself about this, when he wrote an open letter defending his right of form, it was the Marquess of Queensbury. Of course. <laughs> of course. There you go. Yeah. It's a funny thing, that black chair. Mel, you've scored seven points. Thank you.
and our final contender, please. And your name is? Gareth Williams. Your occupation? School teacher. And your chosen subject? The Gospel according to Mark. The Gospel according to Mark. Here we go. How many chapters does the Gospel of St Mark consist of? 16. Yep. In chapter 6, Jesus feeds the 5,000 with loaves and fishes in a desert place. How many people does he feed the second time he performs the miracle before he sails to Damanuta? 4,000 men. Yep. Whom does Jesus quote during his prophecy of the destruction of Jerusalem when he speaks of the abomination of desolation standing where it ought not? Daniel. Yeah. In the opening verses of chapter 10, the Pharisees asked Jesus his opinion on what subject that Moses had suffered to write a bill of. Divorce. Yes, shortly before the crucifixion. What three-word reply does Jesus give to Pontius Pilate's question, Art thou the king of the Jews? I am. No, thou sayest it. In the story of the Gadarene swine, where does the man who calls himself Legion begin to publish how great things Jesus had done for him? In the Decapolis. Yes. In the Transfiguration, Jesus appears on a mountaintop alongside two Old Testament figures. One is Moses. Who's the other? Elijah. Yep. How old is the unnamed girl whom Jesus brings back to life with the words Talitha Kumi, translated as damsel, I say unto thee, arise? Ten years old. She was twelve. In chapter three, Jesus appoints his twelve apostles, of whom two are named James. The first James is described as the son of Zebedee. Who's the other James, the son of? Uh, Alpheus. Yes. When the risen Christ first appeared to Mary Magdalene, she was possessed of what particular evil until cast out by him? Uh, seven demons. Yes, or seven devils. After Jesus treats the blind man at Bethsaida, the man looked up and said he could see men as what? Walking. Trees. Yes. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Is the English translation of what four words that St Mark states were called out by Jesus on the cross? Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani. Indeed. No passes, Gareth. You have scored ten points. <laughs> well, a close scoring round of there. Let's have a look at them all in joint fourth place, seven points. Alice Menel and Mel Kinsey. Joint second place, eight points apiece. Will Howells and Nigel Tomlinson. First place, ten points. Gareth Williams. So it is the general knowledge round now, and if there's a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account, and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, there will be a tie break. So let us ask Alice Mannell to join us again, please. And uh, you start out with seven points with your knowledge of C.B. Fry. Here we go with the general knowledge, and it is two minutes now for these questions. Let's see how you do. The emblem of which sporting movement consists of five interlocking rings that represent the continents of the world united by it? The Olympics. Yep. What term for the person who holds the end of the rope in a tug-of-war team is also now used to describe the regular compare of a radio or television programme? Anchor. Yep. In which Peak District town, once a popular spa, is the Crescent, a sweep of Georgian stonework built in the 1780s in imitation of Bath's Royal Crescent? Uh, Lemington Spa. Buxton. Paraclete, a Greek word meaning advocate or intercessor, describes which person of the Christian trinity? Uh, the Holy Spirit. Yes. What name that comes from a Latin word meaning reddish in colour is the alternative medical name for German measles? Scarlatina. Rubella. Which Radio 1 DJ had a sound effects dog called Arnold that he brought with him from his earlier career with Radio Caroline? Tony Blackburn. Yes. Who wrote the science fiction novels The Time Machine and The First Men in the Moon? It's she wills. Yes, in the dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy from the Ballet of the Nutcracker, Tchaikovsky became one of the first composers to use a newly invented instrument. What's it called? Oboe. The Celesta. Which Mediterranean island's famous residents include the poet and novelist Robert Graves and the novelist George Sand, who lived there with Chopin? Cyprus. Mallorca. Which installation by Tracy Emin was sold at auction for over £2 million in June 2014? The work is said to give a snapshot of the breakdown of a chaotic relationship. Her unmade bed. My bed is what it was actually called. What is the name of the former North London constituency represented by Margaret Thatcher from 1959 to 92? Huntingdon. Finchley. A major accident occurred in March 79 at a nuclear power station near Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Which power station? Windscale. Three Mile Island. The 2007 film Goodbye, Bafana is an account of a man's 20-year relationship with his guard on Robben Island. James Gregory. Who was the man? 
Nelson Mandela. Yes. Under EU law, which strong blue cheese can only be legally produced for sale in Derbyshire, Nottinghamshire and Leicestershire, but not in the village in Cambridgeshire whose name it shares? Stilton. Yep. Who became the youngest person to win the Booker Prize with the novel The Luminaries in 2013? Zadie Smith. Uh, no, it was Eleanor Catton. No passes. Alice, you have 14 points in total. And now, Mel Kingsley again, please. And uh, you start out with seven points as well. So, the same deal. Two minutes of general knowledge questions. Here we go. Which band topped the UK singles chart for the fifth and final time in May 1983 with every breath you take? Pass. With which genre of action stories is the author Zane Grey most closely associated? His novels include Riders of the Purple Sage and Call of the Canyon. Westerns. Yeah. The Middle Eastern dish, kuzi, consists of an animal roasted whole with an elaborate stuffing of chicken, eggs, rice and spices. Which animal? Goat. A lamb. What word used to describe a severe code of punishment comes from the name of a 7th century BC Athenian legislator who punished even trivial offences with death? No, pass. Which 2013 novel by John Grisham about a Mississippi timber tycoon who leaves the bulk of his fortune to his black housekeeper is a sequel to his first novel, The Time to Kill, published in 1989? Cedar Road. Sycamore Row. Which Cockney comedian and singer who died in 2012 wrote an autobiography with the title I Want to Tell You a Story, which was also his catchphrase? Max Bygraves. Yes. What did Queen Victoria describe in her journals as my dear paradise in the Highlands? Bell model? Yep. In Greek mythology, which race of people ate a plant that caused a state of blissful forgetfulness? Odysseus met them on his way back from the Trojan War. Pass. In March 2012, Leanne Wood became the first woman to be elected leader of which British political party? The Greens. No, the Plaid Cymru. In music, what Italian name is given to a short, simple sonata? Pass. Which English football club became the first to win the European Cup two years in succession when they beat Bruges in the 1978 final? Liverpool? Yep. Which country declared the Akita, a breed of large working dog, a national treasure in 1931? Japan. Yep. Whose 1969 single, Israelites, was the first reggae track to top the UK charts? Desmond Decker. Yes. The title character in a poem by Coleridge decrees the building of a stately pleasure dome in Xanadu. What poem? Um, Kubla Khan. Yep. In an old proverb, what are promises compared with because they're both made to be broken? Pass. A 70s television police series spawned a fashion for the chunky, belted cardigans worn by one of its stars. Which series? Miami Vice. When you said shh, I thought you were going to get it. It's oh. Starsky and Hutch. Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, five passes. Promises are made to be broken and so are pie crusts. Yeah, I know. Uh, the short, simple sonata is the Sonatina. Um, those people the, the, in Greek mythology who ate the plant that caused a state of blissful forgetfulness were lotus eaters. The word used to describe the severe code of punishment is draconian. Cool. And every breath you take... The police. Yeah, <laughs> you did know it. Yeah. So, five passes, Mel, a total now of 14 points. Thank you. Now, Will Howells again, please. And uh, you start out with eight points. Let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Two minutes. Here we go. What type of hat is Sherlock Holmes popularly pictured as wearing, although the word's not mentioned in the original stories? Dear Stalker. Yes, the British skydiver Adrian Nicholas proved in 2000 that an Italian Renaissance artist and engineer's design for a parachute sketch in his Codex Atlanticus actually worked. Who was the artist? Da Vinci. Yep. Abdullah Fattah al-Sisi, a former head of the armed forces, was sworn in as the new president of which country in June 2014 after winning elections held the previous month? Egypt. Yes, which British cyclist crashed out at the end of stage one of the 2014 Tour de France when he tried a sprint finish to claim the yellow jersey? Wiggins. Cavendish. Which American rock group had a number two hit in 1992 with a cover version of the Bob Dylan hit Knocking on Heaven's Door? Guns N' Roses. Yeah. LOX is widely used as a component of the propellant of rocket engines. Of what is the term LOX an abbreviation? Liquid oxygen. Yes. What is the name of the television crime drama series based on the novels of Anne Cleves that stars Douglas Henshaw as Detective Inspector Jimmy Perez? Police. Shetland. The town of Tavistock in Devon is notable for a fair traditionally held in October where originally which domestic birds were traded? Uh, uh, pass. 
In ancient Rome and Greece, who was the god of wine and vegetation who was worshipped in wild celebrations known as Orgia? Bacchus. Or Dionysus, yeah. In linguistics, what name is given to the fact relating to the origin of a word and the subsequent development of its form and meaning? Etymology. Yep. The 2003 book, The Pedant in the Kitchen, is a reflection on the trials of home cooking by which English novelist? Trollope. Julian Barnes. Which musical instrument are the virginal and the spinet small forms of by the early 19th century? It was largely superseded by the piano. Uh, a harpsichord. Yes. Which 2014 film, directed by Gareth Edwards and set 15 years after a nuclear meltdown in Japan, sees one of the world's most famous monsters reborn? Godzilla. Yeah. Which poet's early works include The Mask Commerce, first performed at Ludlow Castle in 1634 and first published anonymously in 1637? Pope. Milton. In a martini cocktail, what spirit is sometimes used as an alternative to gin as the main alcoholic ingredient? Vodka. Vodka is a good guess. Yep. Uh, one pass. Will the Tavistock Fair used to trade in geese? You have 18 points. Hello, Nigel, again, please. And uh, you start out with eight points on the first round. You now have to beat a score of 18 points. Let's see if you can do it in two minutes. Here we go. Which musical instrument was Antonio Stradivari particularly famous for, although he also made violas and cellos? The violin. Yes. What name of Middle French origin is given to an opening, especially in the skin, through which sweat passes to the surface? A pore. Yep. Grant Shapps, the MP for Well in Hatfield, replaced Baroness Vasi. It September 2012, in what political position? Minister for Housing. No, Chairman of the Conservative Party. Which Lennon and McCartney song about an impoverished mother contains the lines Children at your feet wonder how you manage to make ends meet? Lady Madonna. Yeah, what shingle headland in Kent is home to two nuclear power stations constructed in the 1960s and designated A and B? Sizewell. No, Dungeness. The seed pods of which common garden plant look and taste like capers, giving rise to their name Poor Man's Capers? Pass. Who directed the Oscar-winning film Chariots of Fire and the box office flop Revolution? Pass. In 1990, an Essex and England batsman scored 456 runs in a single test match against India, made up of a triple century in the first innings and a century in the second. Who was he? Graham Gooch. Yeah. What form of Christian worship was effectively banned in France by the Edict of Fontainebleau of 1685? Cathars. No, Protestantism. Which poet was played by Tom Hollander in a 2014 television drama about his final drink fuel days in Wales and New York? Dylan Thomas. Yes. Which trumpeter got to number three in the UK charts in 1968 with this guy's in love with you? Tizzy Gillespie. No, Herb Alpert. What 1930 book by W.C. Seller and R.J. Yatman was subtitled A Memorable History of England comprising all the parts you can remember? 1066 and all that. Yes, an artist famed for his illustrations of the bohemian life of Montmartre died in 1901, a few months short of his 37th birthday, at his family's estate at Malrome in Gironde. Which artist? To lose the track? Yes, in which capital city is the Heisel Exhibition Park with the Atomium as one of its many attractions? The Hague. Brussels, what sounds that serve as consonants are found in a number of African languages such as Zulu and Kosa and those spoken by the people of the Kalahari Desert? Clicking. Yep, clicks, that's what they have. Uh, two passes, Nigel. Hugh Hudson directed Chariots of Fire and, uh, to his eternal regret, no doubt, revolution. And the seed pods that look and taste like capers come from the nasturtium. You have a total of 16 points. <laughs> and finally, Gareth again, please. And you start out with 10 points. So you've already got a bit of an advantage. 18 is the score to beat still. Let's see if you can do it. Here we go. In Greek mythology, the name of the king of the underworld became synonymous with the underworld itself. What was his name? Hades. Yeah. The males of which unusual Australian mammal have a venomous spur on their hind legs? Dugbill Patipus. Yep. Which architect won the 2004 Stirling Prize for the building 30 St Mary Axe in the city of London, better known as the Gherkin? Richard Rogers. No, Foster. In the production of beer, what name is given to the chemical process in which an enzyme of yeast converts glucose into ethanol and carbon dioxide? Fermentation. Yes. In which novel by Stephen King is the writer Paul Sheldon rescued from a car accident and then held captive by Annie Wilkes, who claims to be his number one fan? Misery. Yep. In Hinduism, which god is worshipped as the eighth incarnation of Vishnu? His name means 
black and it is chanted in a celebrated four-line mantra. Uh, Krishna. Yeah. Samuel Butler's translation of which Greek epic opens, Sing, O Goddess, the anger of Achilles, son of Peleus, that brought countless ills upon the Achaeans? Iliad. Yeah. Which boy band took their name from the postal district of Walthamstow from where they come? He's 17. Yeah. Who was the French king who joined the Seventh Crusade and was canonised as Saint Louis in 1297? He was the only king of France to be declared a saint. Louis the Ninth. Yeah. Which national trail begins at Edale in Derbyshire and ends at Kirkyetham in the Scottish borders? Pennine Way. Yes. In which television sitcom were members of the serving staff at the home of Lord Meldrum, played by the Heidi High regulars Paul Chain, Geoffrey Holland and Sue Pollard? Matt Plintz. You rang my lord. What was the nationality of the composer Franz Liszt? A uh, Czech. Hungarian. Which Quentin Tarantino film opens with eight criminals talking at breakfast about the true meaning of Madonna's song Like a Virgin? Reservoir Dogs. Yes, in cookery, what name derived from a French word for to crunch is given to a little cake of potato meat or other food coated in breadcrumbs and fried? Croquette. Yes. Malay, Mandarin, Tamil and English are the four official languages of which Commonwealth country with Malay designated as the national language? Singapore. Yes, Eastern, Continental and Western are among the principal grips used in which sport? Uh, Basketball. Tennis. Which dancer eluded Soviet security men at Orly Airport in June 61 and requested asylum in France? Uh, Rudolf Nureyev. Indeed it was. No passes, Gareth. 23 points. <laughs> so, a very clear winner. Let's have a look at all the scores. In joint fourth place, 14 points apiece. Alice Menel and Mel Kinsey, third place, 16 points, Nigel Tomlinson, second place, 18 points, Will Howells, first place, 23 points, Gareth Williams. Which means, of course, that Gareth is tonight's winner and he goes through to the grand final. So congratulations to him. Now, if you would like to be a contender in the next series, then go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.